Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got spaghetti. So I'm going to make one of my meat sauces. Here I've got a pound of hamburger and about a pound of just lean steak. You can use whatever meats you want. I usually do hamburger and then some other kind of meat. And sometimes I do three meats. But uh, yeah, so if you want to incorporate a sausage in there with it, you can. It's up to you. I use one can of tomato paste. This, uh, this is going to be onions. I'm going to put some onions in there and some seasoning. And that's about it. I'm, I'm not really going to put any. You can put in red pepper, red bell peppers, whatever you want, mushrooms. Um, I'm just going pretty lean on it. So let's get it done. Yeah, boy. Okay, over here, I've got a uh, iron skillet heating up, as you can see the burner's on. And there's a thin layer of oil in there. I'm going to get that good and hot, and then I'm going to put the meat right on in it. Then I will season it. Okay, these are the seasonings I'll be using. I'm going to use some crushed red pepper, some black pepper, some salt, some garlic powder, rosemary, sage, oregano, thyme. Um, that'll be my base seasoning. So our oil is hot. It's starting to smoke. I'm going to lay away from me. I'm going to lay the hamburger in there. We're going to get, us, get out my favorite heavy duty spatula here. And we're just going to push this around in here. And we'll take it if it cooks to the bottom of the pan a little bit. Now that it's getting hot, I'm going to bring down my heat. I'm just going to break this hamburger up. It's still a little bit frozen. Yes, a little bit. That's okay. Oh, I put totally frozen in and just let it heat and then start chopping it up as it thaws. So we're going to get this to hamburger all hamburgered up and get it browning and then we'll add our steak, which is right there. Once all the meats are in there together, I'm going to add some red wine, some balsamic vinegar, maybe a little dash of Worcester, and then my seasoning. So now, as you can see, we've got the hamburger hamburgered out. It's really starting to brown. I'm going to go ahead and slide in the steak. And I'm going to push that around and get it where it's good and hot. And now, I'm just going to let that do its thing. What I want to do is get that steak cooked. So, get it in there. Make sure our heat's up about medium high. And uh, we'll let that cook for a few minutes. Then I'm going to do all my seasoning. Uh, add the onions, the tomato paste, and then we let it simmer for quite a while. So now, as you can see, we've got the chunks of steak with a very light browning effect on them. We don't want to cook them all the way through right now. It's not really important. We got only thing in here is hamburger, steak, and some oil. So now what we're going to do is our seasoning. And I'm not going to, I just put a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and sprinkle it in. Maybe half a teaspoon in there. We're done with that for now. If we need more salt, we'll add it later after we taste the oat, the end sauce. Now I'm going to put a pretty good amount of black pepper in there. I'm going to put a pretty good amount of garlic powder. We like garlic. And then I'm going to put... Not a lot, but a decent amount. This would be to taste. However you like the spicy level. And I'm just going through these uh, spices. This is a little bit of rosemary, not a whole lot. Just dried rosemary. And we're going to go right through all these. This is some sage. Don't need a lot. Now you can buy 
Italian seasoning already pre mixed I don't because I like my quantities the way I like them of each spice that's in there. But yeah, basically it's oregano, thyme, sage, and a couple of other little things. But those are the three mains. And I tell you, I like this is the oregano. I like a lot more oregano than than I do of the other ingredients there. And then um, I'm gonna add some red wine. And as you can see, I'm adding about, oh, about a couple of red wine. And then we're going to need a good old fave, some balsamic. I put a good amount in. This is going to be brewing a little while, so a lot of that's going to kind of soften down. A little bit of Worcestershire. And... Again, that's to taste whatever you like or don't like. You can add anything you want. The, the trick here is garlic and Italian seasoning because we're putting this on spaghetti. So basically, I'm making a meat sauce for spaghetti. Um, get those ingredients mixed together. I'm going to add one more thing here. And that will be... Some actual minced garlic. Because like I said, I like garlic. So we'll come back uh, after this uh, is ready for its next stage. Okay, the meat sauce has been simmering about 10 minutes or so now. Over here I've got my next ingredients are going to be the onions, pepperoncinos diced, some olives diced, and some capers diced. That's what's going in next. And then after that's been in there about 10 minutes, I'll add that tomato paste. And then we just let the whole thing go until she's ready. So now it's time to add my onions. And I'll just sprinkle them around. You might think that's a lot of onions, but these are gonna cook for a few hours and they'll just simmer down into some nothing but flavor, nothing but flavor. That is actually one bunch of uh, green onions and half of a white onion. Peppuccinos. Olives and capers. And what's left on the cutting board. There we go. That'll do it. And now we just mix it all in. And wow, the smell of this is awesome. And this is going to be an outstanding meat sauce. Now you can use leeks if you prefer. They have a milder flavor than onions. Um, but whatever you want to put in here, if you want to put in potatoes, you, you can. This all goes great on a pasta of some variety. Tonight I'm going to be using gluten-free spaghetti. Uh, there's a fly in here. I've got my back door open. A fly in here wants to check out the sauce. So I'm going to let that simmer, like I said, for about 10 minutes. And then it'll reduce the liquid that's in there slightly. Then I'll add the tomato paste. And at that point, I'll determine whether or not I need it to be saucier. And to make it saucier, you just... Get you a, a glass of hot sink water, tap water, and add it to it and make until you get to the consistency that you want. Okay, now it's time to add our tomato. Now, I'm not a huge fan of tomatoey sauces. I like a tomato in the sauce, but I don't like it just nothing but. And that's what you get when you buy a red sauce in a jar. And the way I look at it is, I can make it the way I like it just by using this little can of wonderfulness right here. And I just use one of these. And that's it. I add that. And then I just let it dissolve in. And we've got 
again in here, we've got capers, we've got olives, we've got peppuccinos, we've got white onion, we have green onion, we have steak, and we have hamburger. And now what I'm doing is I'm just mixing this up thoroughly. Now you see how thick it's gotten? That's what the tomato will do to it. Just one little can. One little can. Look at that. Now, that is about perfect, but we've got to let this cook for quite a while. When I say quite a while, I mean it. We're going to let this simmer for about an hour, at least, before we eat it. And I usually go even longer than that. Time right now is about 4 in the afternoon, and I'm not going to eat this probably till about 8 tonight. So, what's going to happen is it's going to burn off the liquids. That steam coming off is, is the liquid reducing. So what we are going to do, and I'll go ahead and get this off camera, is I get this little glass right here, just a little glass of water, and I'll add the whole thing. And I'll keep doing that as it needs it. And you can see, she looks great. And that is how I make my meat sauce. Again, ingredients, you can vary them any way you want. The spices, do any level of spices that you like to your taste and let it cook. You will have an amazing spaghetti for the night compared to doing it out of a jar from the store. And it's that easy. Again, use the meats you want. Sometimes I use deer meat, sometimes I use sausage. I always use at least a pound of hamburger just to keep things level. Uh, and then of course, if you use sausages, uh, be careful about how much salt you put in because sausages always have salt in them um, and they will increase the salt. So as you, as you get close to serving your sauce on your pasta, just taste it, see what, it's like, see what it needs. It might need some more pepper, it might need some more salt, it, whatever, just taste it. Um, yeah. So there you have it, Morgan's Meat Sauce. Have a great night.